guys, um, it's surgery day. I'm on a last minute spice run for um, my meal prep. And I just got my elevated faith, um, my elevated faith hoodie. And bro, this is the exact one that I wanted. It, it's like a surprise, like a mystery hoodie. This is the exact one that I wanted. So look, it says Yahweh right there. And then look at the, it's tied. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed with it. I got so excited when I got it. Um, but yeah, I am kind of scared for my, for my surgery, but I believe in a God that, you know, is the one who fights for me, you know, Joshua Nisi, uh, Jehovah Nisi, like, just God is so amazing, and I know that he will protect me, and, um, and if anything happens, it's gonna be for the glory of God, you know, so, I have full trust in God. I know that he will be in the hands of the surgeon um, and the anesthesiologist, the nurses, everyone who goes into that room. Um, but yeah, pray for me. Um, prayer can never be misused. Um, I love you guys and I'm going to go to the Spice Run. I'm going to Walmart and then after that, my mom's picking me up and we are going to be waiting for two hours two hours of wait so making sure everything is charged because it's, it's gonna be a long wait it's gonna be a long wait but pray for my mom too because my mom's probably gonna be freaking out i remember when i got my cyst removal from my chest she was like, crying and bawling her eyes out um but you know god had my, his hand on, on on my life then and i know he has it now um but pray for my mom so that she won't cry. Um, also be praying for um, for the other people that are going in today. Um, praying for my doctor that he's not too tired. Um, that he has energy. And I'm just praying for a lot of people. There's someone that just drove it right next to me. So I'm going to go. But um, look at this awesome hoodie. It says Yahweh. Oh my god. I'm so obsessed with it. Alright. I love you guys. See you in a little bit. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, so I am in the hospital room. I have my IV in. Drew a little kitty cat. Um, I have these things on my legs that are like compulsing so that I don't develop blood clots. Um, I still have my contacts on. They gave me some contacts right there. So I'm like solution. Um, the IV is kind of cold. So I have like a thousand blankets on me. Uh, my mom's right here right next to me. She's looking at me like I can't believe you're recording right now. My cheeks are kind of pink. Um, I kind of have a tiny headache um, I'm not sure if it was because of the IV or because I haven't eaten all day um, But I still have to wait about two hours because my surgery is um, Is delayed because the, the case before me was took a, 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 a turn so I'm here. I'm ready. Everything's in him, in the hands of God. I'm a little slur of speech. I did take a couple pills just to like warm up for Tylenol, you know, Tylenol, I think acetaminophen, something like that. But um, surgery is in two hours. I'm in room 217. You see that right there? 217, everything is connected. My IV is connected. Um, my mom's right here. She don't like me vlogging, but you know, it's the life. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm wearing my gown. Nothing underneath, which feels kind of weird. I'm knackered. Um, but yeah, I have a tiny headache, but I think the Tylenol will take care of that. Maybe it's also because I haven't eaten. Um, I'm a little pinkish. I don't know how or why. And I am a little tired, but, um, but yeah, I'll see you guys post-surgery. Um, you guys want to pray with me? Okay, I'm going to hold on. Okay. Is that? Okay. 
Father God, I pray that the surgery goes good, that you are in the hands of the surgeon, that you are in the hands of the nurses, the anesthesiologist, Lord, that you are in the hands of everyone who's going to be taking care of me, God. Thank you so much for the help that they've been giving me. Thank you for the care that you've provided, Lord. Thank you for everything, Lord, I pray that you help us um, and you help me, Lord Jesus, to recover, to take everything well, Lord. I pray that my tonsils will no longer be, you know, an issue and that you help me with my septum reconstruction, God. My adenoids are okay, Lord, and I pray in your mighty name, Jesus, that, that you are the strength, the fountain of Jesus, and we connect to you, God. We surrender to everything to you, Lord, and we know that you are the God of control, God of everything, Lord, in your mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, I will see you guys post-surgery. Um, yeah, I'm tired, so I'm going to go. I'm going to take a nap. I'll probably just be on my phone. But God bless you guys. I'll see you in a little bit, okay? Look at that. It's a cat. It's a kitty cat. Okay, bye. Oh, real quick, real quick. So you see this cat? A couple years ago, I had surgery on my chest. And um, that's the surgery that my mom was bawling her eyes out. Um, but... <laughs> But um, I had I had surgery on my chest, and then when I was recovering, I had a dream about a cat, and I was like, I don't know where I got a cat from because I don't like I didn't own a cat at the time. Now I have Tiger, but um, I it was I just found it funny, and she drew this cat, and I'm thinking she might be the same nurse that helped me out back then, but I honestly don't remember her. Um, so yeah, fun story, quick story. All right, I'll see you. See you at the operating room. my nose. Um, sometimes I feel like I can't breathe. It really sucks. I'm super high. I love you guys. I don't really know what to I to use popsicles. My hair's to swallow. I can't talk. My nose bleeds every time I raise my hand. Such a baby. <laughs> uh, I mean, it hurts. 
Sí. Mano. Otra mano. Otra. Good boy. No, uh, off my bed. Come on. Look at those cheese. Look at that cheesy. Hey guys, it's day six of recovery. Um, my voice is kind of coming back. Shout out to Hermana Marilu for this caldo de pollo. Seriously, Ana, muchísimas gracias. Everything is delicious. Uh, Coda, I'm recording. Can you give me a second, please? Oh, play. Coda wants some. Um, he's such a good boy. But uh, uh, everything hurts. Everything hurts, and it's it's kind of tough. I can't sing. I can't really talk. Uh, my nose feels like it's on crooked, but I know it's just the the webbing. I have stitches like right here and then I want to pull them out so bad because they're dry and then I have boogers in them. Um, sorry, TMI. But yeah, thank you, Hermana Marilu, for, for the card though. You can even see it smoking, you know? I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's like because it's so warm. Uh, my mom's coming by later. She's gonna help me clean, she's gonna help me, you know take care of some things um the positions that i've been sleeping in are causing my back to be in a lot of pain so if you know a massage therapist in Vancouver, washington i can help that'd be awesome um koda i'm still vlogging hold on he just wants me to kick his toy i know my hair is messed up but i haven't had time to i mean i have had it's just I just woke up and then I, I my narcotics literally make me want to be in bed the entire day. Um, I took out quota twice today, so yay for me for getting my exercise. He pooped and he peed, so that resulted in me having to bend over, which is not what the doctor would recommended. But um, but yeah, he's making me get up. He's making me go play with him. Life is hard after surgery. I didn't realize it was going to be this hard. But thank you to everyone who's helped me. My mom has helped me so much. My mom helped me for the first four days after recovery. And she's literally the most incredible woman I've ever known. So honor your mom, please. If she's still with you, please, please don't take her some flowers, some Starbucks, whatever she likes, okay? I know your mom. Uh, it hurts when I swallow, but the warmness of the of the thing, of the soup really is helping. Um, I'm about to take my antibiotics right now. And then in a little bit, I should be taking another Oxy. I really don't like being on Oxy. Um, because it makes me feel stupid and I can't walk. I feel like I'm so high out of my mind that I feel like I'm floating and I feel like I'm gonna fall. Um, but I have to take it for recovery. Uh, I feel like my voice is getting definitely a little stronger. Uh, I can't talk fully, I can't yawn either. If I yawn, it pulls something in the back of my throat and it's not allowing me to do it um the other day i ate some cucumber and i was so excited to finally eat something solid because i've been drinking my smoothies i've been drinking my bone broth and like just kind of it, it really has been sucking but i have lost a lot of weight so here's to that um but i do want to do it healthily and not just be drinking my foods um I miss and I'm craving Chinese food, like Mongolian grill, I love noodles and meat. So when I get better, I think that's my first cheat meal, is going to Mongolian grill and just grubbing because I, I miss food. Um, I'm excited to continue my, my diet thing, but yeah, I'm, I'm trying. trying. Um, Anyway, Koda is like, excuse me, sniffing all around. 
so it means he either wants food or he just wants to be annoying but um i'll see you guys can you give me a second thanks look i'm just sitting there waiting for his he's such a good boy i love him so much where was I even going with this? Anyway, I will see you guys later. Um, recovery sucks. I'm in a lot of pain sometimes. Sometimes I'm not in no pain and sometimes I'm in so much pain. But that's what I get for having someone go into my body, right? And chop off the things that, that needed to be chopped off. All right, I love you guys. I'm gonna stop talking because it hurts. Peace out. Cheese, have it cheese, cheese, cheese for the camera, cheese, have it. Oh, it's such a nice smile. <laughs> oh, so handsome. Let me see the cheese. Good boy, cheese. <laughs> I love you so much. Look at him. He's so tiny, but he's huge. Cheese, let me see the cheese. Let me see the cheese. Good boy. <laughs> Um, day number nine, um, of me recovering, um, today's, I think, been the best day. Uh, yesterday I couldn't move my tongue because it was so swollen and it was so painful to swallow. But today, I made a popsicle, I was able to eat a whole cup of noodles, um, I ate, um, I lost track of what I was saying, I ate some caldo de res, um, my dad came over, so we hung out a bit with, they were playing with Koda. I picked up my baby brother, and I think that's what, what really, I think, brought everything down. I think I overdid my body. Um, but, yeah, um, I hope I feel better tomorrow, but, I don't know. I don't know, so... I hope I didn't overdo it today. I really hope so because I, I'm just so ready to start healing and to be healed and to just be able to go outside. Um, nose is feeling better. Uh, adenoids are still kind of healing a little bit. Uh, they're a little painful. Uh, throat, like, so much better. Um, the, I'm just like starting to like shed some of the, the layering. Sorry, that's too graphic. But um, yeah. Um, hopefully tomorrow's the tomorrow's the last day that uh, is that a booger? No, it's not it's just oil. Um, tomorrow's the last day that I take my antibiotics. So hopefully that'll work. Um, I stopped taking the nar narco and, and the oxy, um, and I've been taking ibuprofen, and I think it's been doing pretty good. Um, swallowing is a little better. Right now, I'm just gonna finish watching, like, this, uh, murder docu documentary, and then I'm gonna read my Bible, and then, um, and then go to sleep. But, oh, look at that hair, so messy. Sorry. Um, yeah, read my Bible, pray a little, go to sleep, and uh, hope for a new day, God willing. Um, I, I did feel really well. I went to church in the morning, didn't physically go, but I was FaceTiming my, one of the pastors, and, and she FaceTimed me, and I was able to, to watch the service, which was really awesome. Yeah, really, really awesome. Um, but other than that, I'm just gonna let you guys go. Excuse me.
constipation sucks like big time i was the first time as soon as i got out of the surgery sorry if this is tmi but as soon as i got out of the surgery i couldn't poop for three days okay and then i ate some plums and then my mom made me like a papaya shake and apparently that's supposed to be really good for you so um so she made me a shake and uh, sorry it's swallowing is difficulty um and i was able to poop you know i was able to poop for maybe one to two days um as soon as i was able to poop i, I came home and uh, um or like two days after a day after i was able to poop i came home and then i was constipated for five days no be not being able to poop five days it hurt so bad my stomach was in so much pain like so much pain like i don't wish it on anybody but um five days yesterday i was finally able to poop i was so excited i lost 14 pounds since not on the poop but since my my uh rise life journey um and i've gained i think maybe three pounds i think now i'm 148 instead of 147 i'm 140 149 or something like that which is really good because i used to weigh 161 so so yeah i'm slowly 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 losing my weight gaining it back slowly losing it gaining it um um i i think i'm gonna try to do a little bit more meat now so i'm gonna start doing my meal prep um and everything but yeah i i hope everyone's having a great day i love you guys don't forget to love yourselves and love each other eat a sugarless popsicle if you can uh, pray for me please because i need to heal faster so that i can go to church um today i was able to sing i was able to sing along with the the music and I, I was able to la to sing along with with some worship music i had on on my background but um but yeah that made me happy so i love you guys god bless you please stay safe So I just filled, filled, I just filmed um, an entire intro and I realized it wasn't recording. So, um, good morning. Sorry I look like this. But today is the day. Today is the day that I am getting the thingies out my nose. Um, I'm, I had to ask him for a favor because it was giving me this massive headache um, whenever I like got out of my house. I got super dizzy and super nauseous. So this thing that's like ends here finally coming out um again sorry you seeing me this i literally just got up from bed but um i'm excited i'm so ready um hopefully this thing will be gone by the end of the day and i will be able to go to practice um of course i'm gonna be taking it slow i'm just gonna go to see i'm just gonna go to observe and and just be there because i miss it i miss it a lot i love jesus i love to worship so that's pretty much the point um but yeah, today's the day. I am 17 days of recovery now. Um, I'm past recovery. I'm ready. I want to live um, like I used to. Again, sorry for my hair. Um, but ay -ay -ay. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to, to get these things out, to finally breathe better, um, sleep better. I've been sleeping, sitting up most of the time, my back needs a massage i need an adjustment i need everything i need all the works because it's been it's been quite a couple weeks um but uh i'll see you guys when i'm a little bit more put together in like three two 
All right, I know it's not a big major transformation, but I got my Yahweh sweater on. I'm ready, got my mascara, contacts in, did this a little bit at the edges, got a ponytail because I didn't shower this morning um, because it was kind of last minute. So I'm on my way, wish me luck. Hopefully I can record it, um, but it's very, very disgusting. Um, so if you're like kind of grossed out by things like that, don't watch. Um, but hopefully I can record it. If I can't, well then it won't be on the video, but uh, yeah, yeah, I my curtain. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I can breathe! Oh my god, they did I didn't ask to hold on, I'm putting on my seatbelt. I didn't ask to record it because he was just very super professional and so I wanted to be, you know, professional as well. But oh my goodness, I can breathe so much better. He did recommend that I do some sailing, uh, some saline drainage because I do have a lot of like dried blood and, and boogers and a lot of stuff still inside my nose. But I can breathe so much better. Oh my gosh, guys. This is such a shock. Oh my God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Oh my goodness. He put doctors in our lives for a reason. This is incredible. This is awesome. Oh my gosh. I can breathe. And he said that I can sing. Um, that I shouldn't have any problems singing. And that um, if it hurts too much to play the trumpet, give it another week or so. But keep doing the sailing. And oh my gosh, guys. I can breathe. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Uh, all the glory be to God. Thank you to the doctors. Thank you to the nurses. Thank you to everybody. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. I'll see you guys. Um, so that, I guess that concludes the video. Oh my goodness. I, oh my God. Oh, I can breathe. <laughs> oh my God. Apparently I was supposed to get those things out five days after surgery and I never had an appointment. So I never had an appointment to get them out. So I had them in for about two weeks and a half and that's not supposed to happen. So, um, yep, got some homework to do, got some saline to use and I will see you guys. I will see you guys in another video. Um, this is incredible. Thank the Lord for people and doctors. Seriously. All right. I'm healing. I'm doing better. Don't forget to love yourselves and love each other. God bless you. I love you all. Peace out. All right. Bye.